Hey Bears, so this video I decided to create is for my school G. Madeline Aveda Institute and it's for a Halloween contest. So I decided to create this fun, very creepy and cool look. So first I did my eyeshadow and you can do this however you like, just I prefer very bright, big, bold colors and I decided to add red contacts as well. I did a basic foundation look with some blush and bronzer and that is it but we are going to get into the very important part and I am going to start out with this so again don't worry about how your face looks with your makeup it's whatever you prefer and your style of choice so I'm taking my Mayron makeup palette and I'm going to use that to paint my face and my chest. But we are taking this NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk and we're going to sketch the face. So I'm taking this and this is where I'm going to draw out and outline everything on my face and the distinct design that I want to create. Before we get started into this look, I forgot to show you my sketch of this look that I planned before filming this video. So here is my sketch. Of course, I wanted to share this with you because that is actually my personal face and I did that all by myself. So as you can tell, I am very proud. But we're going to continue with the video. Remember that you can do this design however you like. I just did the simple triangles on the top of my brows and under my lower lash line. And I'm going to create little pom-poms at the top and bottom. Um, I'm going to show you in later on in the video how you can make this more realistic rather than it just looking like circles. Now, being a creepy Halloween type of clown, you can't forget the nose. So of course, sketch that nose out as big or as small as you'd like. And of course, I'm going to show you how I color it in. I use the white pencil as a base just so when I do paint over it, it creates the paint to be brighter than it actually is. This is a really good trick with body painting because when you use a white cream base of any sort or any kind, it's really helpful because it helps with the pigment or the paint to be brighter than it actually is in the palette. So of course I'm struggling right now. Oh, there I got it. And this is the Mayron Paradise Paint Palette. Many, many, many colors in here. So you can choose, but you can also pick any colors you'd like. You don't need to have this palette to create this look. You can use any paint you like. There are plenty of paints on Amazon that you can have and that I use on a daily basis. So of course I chose the color purple because it is my favorite color. And I also changed my mind because I said I was gonna do green, but I am taking a baby blue because that is my second favorite color. So those are the two colors that I am using for this look but when we get to my chest piece you will see that I use all sorts of colors now I'm taking that baby blue shade I mentioned in the beginning and I'm just going to do the same pattern on the other side then after that I took a black Mayron paint and I'm just going to create a opposite kind of design so I'm doing parts of it black and then I'm leaving some parts of it purple or some parts of it blue Finishing up with the black paint, I then chose to take some white because of course when you use black, of course, of course, of course you have to use some white. So I'm just adding in some little details to those pom-poms that I said I was going to show you how to create realistically. So take a finger and just dab, 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 blend, blend, blend. So as you can see, it goes from white harsh spots to much softer white, creating that purple and that black to be either lighter purple or gray. And it creates a very realistic version than just painting and creating harsh lines. So again, this is another tip and don't be afraid to use your fingers when you paint because of course finger painting is the best kind of painting, right? So this is what I do as a highlight portion and I had an itchy nose apparently. But next I'm taking red, that bright red right there for the nose and I'm going to cover my entire nose on top of that white base and create this beautiful <laughs> red nose of mine. And you don't have to use red. Don't ever think that all clowns have red noses. I don't think they do anyway. And it's just fun. Remember to always make this as fun and creative as much as you want to. 
Speaking of having way too much fun with your body painting and Halloween creative looks, I think I have the personality of a clown sometimes. I am too silly for my own good. But let all of this dry down, down, down. So while this dries on your face, we're going to do the chest piece. Get those side hair pieces out of your way. They were in my way and I waited too long to put them behind my ears. But taking that same cream based pencil, I'm just going to outline the neck and chest portion of this scary, creepy clown look. And as you can see, my lines aren't completely perfect. I make a lot of changes. You will see in the future that I just go along with it. It doesn't have to be perfect. That's no fun anyway. And then I'm just going to take some paints of your choosing, my choosing, whichever you like. I started out with blue and then I go from different shades all the way to pink. So I take a huge paintbrush. I bought this from Hobby Lobby. You can get it at any craft store. These are the paintbrushes I use on my body and they're very affordable and very easy to work with. So like I said, you're gonna go from color to color to color. Ta-da! Now we're going to do the last color and I chose to do hot pink. So get that hair out of your way and get to painting. And this was probably the funnest, most relaxing, I don't even know if funnest is a word, but most relaxing portion. And biggest tip, again, if you want to outline things, use black. If you outline with black in any paint or creative design, it will stand out so much more than just leaving it as solid color. So like those pom-poms on our face, we're going to create it using cream-based paint. And this palette is from Makeup Forever. I think this is their flash paint palette. And I'm taking a makeup brush and I'm just dabbing it and pushing it into the skin. And I took some black paint and I did the same on top of it so you can see that slight shading. And speaking of shading, take your favorite and darkest and deepest black eyeshadow and get to it because this is the key to making this look realistic. Remember in the beginning when I said that creating a more realistic view or creation or piece of art is so much nicer and cleaner looking than just harsh lines and shading is your best friend. It is probably the most important thing when you create neck pieces and chest pieces also. And I think it's very key. So of course, the easiest way if you are a beginner with shading is to go up against that black outlining, draw it upwards and blend it towards the center. And it's okay if the outline of the border is harsher, just blend it towards the center and it'll become softer and it'll just blend in with that paint. So you're going to do that for each portion of the neck. When you're finally finished shading, you can go to the lips or you can go to my favorite part, highlight. That is what I was just saying. <laughs> and highlighting is probably my favorite part of any makeup routine. Even if I have not much, no foundation, maybe a little bit of concealer, highlight is my go-to no matter what. So for my preference on a look like this, I would choose bright holographic Pigments, eyeshadows, highlighter, you can choose whatever you like. You can use neon pigments, you can use metallic eyeshadows, Supreme Frost, Skin Frost, any highlighting palette you own, use whatever you like. So I'm using a few from Jeffree Star, Anastasia Beverly Hills. And what I did was take a highlight that was similar to the color of what was on my chest. And as you can see, I'm getting paint almost everywhere on my arms. I see a little spot down there, but that's okay because this isn't supposed to be pretty and perfect. This can be messy and grungy and edgy and it's Halloween, so it's not supposed to be pretty and proper. At least in my opinion, I love being creepy and spooky for every Halloween occasion. So like, for example, I just took that dark copper highlighting shade and I'm putting that on top of the orange because it'll make it brighter. Then I took a light pink highlighting shade and I put it on the pinks. Highlighting can be your best friend or your worst enemy, but in my opinion, it is my best friend by far. It really makes everything stand out. That is the entirety of a highlight. And you can add, oh, I just added that purple highlighter to that purple piece of my neck. And of course, like I said, I love purple. But you can always go back to that black eyeshadow if you choose to, to create more shading and more edgy type 
looks to your chest piece. Remember, this is supposed to be messy and fun and get dirty with it, you know? Have some fun with it. Of course, I'm having fun, as you can tell. But don't forget, with that highlight, add that to the little pom-poms on your chest because it just makes it pop a little bit more. But I do add something a little bit in the end. Five years have passed and I finally decided to stop highlighting. Oh, there she is, the glitter I promised. The little addition and detail to the pom-poms. So as I struggle and enjoy watching the glitter fall into my little cap, I'm going to add this on each pom-pom. I decided to just add this little detail on here because it was the white part and my glitter was a holographic silver but you can also choose to put glitter anywhere you want. And this is the fun, <laughs> very messy part. I did not choose this in the beginning, but I thought on my feet and this is what I decided to do. So I chose a red lipstick. And if you are going to do this idea, you do not need to make it perfect because you will see, I will smudge it all over my face. And if you take notice, you will see it residue on my chin how lovely right so take that finger and dab push in smear it smudge it put it all over the place because this is halloween and we need to be creepy and awkward and weird because that's what halloween is about oh you thought i was done highlighting yeah i thought i was too but this is a little add-on for the highlighting queen here and i took a very light pink highlighter and i smudged it all over my face and all over my lips and of course you have to do the hair so i added two little messy buns on my head and i have a few colors of hair spray paint and this is temporary paint so i used pink blue and white and you can just spread it all over however you like however you prefer and make it as pretty as possible just kidding make it as messy as possible because that's the beauty of being a scary creepy clown even if you get it on your black backdrop who cares right and of course fix those side pieces if you are a girl like me that likes those side pieces just flailing down like that and here you are the final final look of this creepy clown or just Kayla dressed up as a clown being creepy. Which one you, however you may want to see it, that is it. But I do hope you enjoyed watching this video. I really enjoyed filming this for you guys, and I will see you in the next one.